to the home of Minnesota Vikings football. I'm Paul Allen. We are all here together on KFAN day one of organized team activities for the Minnesota Vikings. When you think about organized team activities and the best running back in the National Football League in Adrian Peterson, you're probably thinking, why does Adrian need to be there? What needs to be better about Adrian Peterson? Let's not forget his very first touchdown came in game 107 against the Atlanta Falcons. It went for 60 yards. Our first win at Soldier Field in years. Adrian has 361 total yards, third best all-time in National Football League history. And Adrian Peterson is gone! He paved the way for us to pull an upset. From his rookie year, 296 yards against San Diego. That's a National Football League record. But everybody around the National Football League knows when dealing with the best running back in the game, you better be ready for an all-day affair. I mean, we bring up organized team activities in Adrian Peterson. Hopefully, Adrian can capitalize on some things that are already good and run us to another division championship. Hopefully, Adrian Peterson continues to run his way to Canton, Ohio. This is Adrian Peterson, number 28, running back for the Minnesota Vikings and one of the most exciting players in professional football. Give me a crease, man. Hey, Give hey, me a crease. You need to take this for 70 yards, man. 70 yards. It's not hyperbole that on any snap, Peterson is capable of scoring. Hand off Adrian. Scoots loose up the middle. Across the 30 to the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown. Yeah, 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 yeah. So far, Peterson has found the end zone 23 times in his pro career. Each has been a team achievement, the desired result of talent, dedication, and arduous preparation. Each offseason, the Vikings, like every other NFL team, pulled organized team activities, or OTAs, to prepare players for summer training camp. Another days of work, going in, how can I get better? My first goal is, you know, make sure I'm prepared to help my team win NFC, you know, NFC North. You know, that's the first goal. And then everything else just trickles down from, the, from, from there. Peterson attends the mandatory team breakfast, followed by the mental nutrition of team meetings. After meetings, Peterson visits the equipment room to select his footwear for the season. As a premier NFL player, Nike offers Peterson several shoe designs to choose from. You can only pick one of them. Mm -hmm. Your shoe, but there's three different ways you, you can have it colored up. We can only have purple, white, and black on our shoe. I think I might have to go with, I don't know. Which two you think look the best? I'm going to see if you well, think in the same way I am. Well, I figure that anything looks good on you. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen you in a bad shoe. That's crazy. <laughs> and, you know, always dreaming, you know, about, you know, being able to be endorsed by, by Nike. And now that it's reality, I can't stop thanking God because I'm truly blessed. I want to go without that white. That black is smooth. Oh, black. I'm going to try these right there. Okay. We'll send that in. My journey to where I'm at now, you know, it, it's been tough along the way. You know, I have my trials, you know, and like, like everyone else. Great running backs prove themselves right away. Adrian Peterson got his nickname all day during his Pop Warner years, and it has stuck ever since. 
I remember growing up and when I first uh, started playing organized football at a young age in um, Pee Wee League, I played running back and I played defense, played linebacker. I loved it. Same type of passion I played with on offense where I run the ball. It was the same thing on the defense side of the ball. I was on the go all day, running around. So they came with their nickname AD all day. Who's up? Who's up? Let's go, AD. His nickname ain't AD for no reason. They call him all day for a reason. You know what I mean? He's all day 100 miles per hour. He's a million miles an hour guy. To me, there's no such thing as too hard. He's a reckless, hard-nosed, finished play, take the ball down the field 40 yards every time guy. And he's happy to do it. It's on the 20! Get in there! Touchdown! Yes! Got a finish, baby! As a pro, Peterson runs hard. In his hometown, he ran with caution. Games played on the streets of Palestine, Texas, were tough on the body. Palestine is a small town, so everyone knew, you know, everyone. We always used to get together, no matter who was playing soccer at school during break or playing sideline kill, um, you know, with the older guys. Sideline kill is it's a different game. You really got to be tough. We normally used to get in the middle of the street, basically, like, play 7-on-7 seven seven or 5-on-5, five five, whoever came out to play. And if you run to the sideline, you can get tackled. I was definitely trying to avoid getting tackled on the sidewalk, falling to the concrete. I have seen some gruesome injuries happen playing that game. Peterson took the road well-traveled for boys from the Lone Star State. While working the land, he learned humility, a trait that has carried over to his NFL career. My first job was working with my uncle out in the country on a farm, rolling hay, riding the tractors, dropping off hay for the cows. Over acres of land, it was tough. <laughs> Even though I wake up sometimes and I'm like, oh, man, you know, it's just another day. It's going to be a long day. <laughs> I'd rather be doing this than dropping hay off or, you know, digging holes. That's easily it put things in perspective. In his formative years, Peterson also discovered the meaning of courage. He was seven when his older brother Brian was killed by a drunk driver while riding a bicycle. At first it was tough taking it that it happened at a young age and I actually witnessed it. You know, it happened right there in front of my eyes. But it made me strong at a young age because mom, she was single and you know I just really had to be tough for her. Still to this day, I sit back and wonder, you know, what my brother would be doing. You know, with the athletic ability he had at a young age, you know, it kind of blows my mind. Like, I was nowhere close to his talent. I never really could catch up with him unless I caught him in his sleep. As a teenager, Peterson became an elusive runner himself. He also steered clear of trouble while his father served a lengthy prison sentence. By this time, my dad was incarcerated. And I remember um, having a phone, a phone conversation with my father, and he was telling me, my son, you always dreamed about going to college and dreamed about playing in the NFL. And he's always told me it's a stepping stone. He said, I know you're the best running back in Texas, and you gotta go show the world that you are. And that was something that, that really, you know, triggered something in my head. And uh, my junior year, that's when I really had a breakout season. That's when I was like, okay. Make sure I get this class work, I can make it. The kid from Palestine became one of the most sought after football prospects in the nation. He enrolled at the University of Oklahoma and made an immediate impact. We're sitting in the press box going, did you just see what he just did? Adrian Peterson is a man amongst boys. He's a freshman, he's a true freshman. He has the size to be a power back he has the speed to be a scat back. It's the most dynamic combination of size and speed you've seen in the college game. Bo Jackson, Herschel Walker, long, long time. Peterson's go for broke style wound up breaking the spirits of college defenses, along with a few bones, setting in motion his decision to leave the Sooners early for the pros. My junior year, Going into the, the sixth week, I broke my collarbone. It was kind of like a blessing in disguise, kind of how I looked at it. It could have easily been a knee injury, 
or something like that that could have kept me out, you know, or could have possibly ended my career. Once I came back doing a Fiesta Bowl, it was like, you know, what's next? You can come back a year and, you know, shoot for this national championship again, or you can take your game to the next level and try to win an NFL championship. When it, when it came down to it, I had to, you know, turn that card in and, and, and see where I, where, where, you know, where I, where I fell in. At the meat market that is the NFL scouting combine, Peterson was like a well-marbled steak. Coaches and media types salivated over his speed, size, and strength. I met Adrian Peterson at the combine, and I knew he was going to be great from the get-go. And the reason why is he shook my hand, and when he shook my hand, his hand came past my palm and onto essentially my forearm, and he squoze me so hard he could have taken my blood pressure. And I'm like, this is a man-child. If he stays healthy, he's going to crush some people. The running back was a lock to be selected in the first round of the 2007 NFL draft. But where he was headed was a mystery, even to Peterson himself. If I just had to put money on it, I would say maybe Cleveland. Um, but not, because you never know what the guys, you know, which direction they might go. Maybe Arizona, Minnesota, you know, so it's all good. Man, just really just, just anxious find out what I'm gonna be. And I wanna be the last one sitting in that room, you know, but I worked hard to get to this point right now in my life, so I'm gonna be excited wherever I go. The Vikings were on the clock with the seventh overall pick when Peterson received a call that changed his life. Hey, how you doing, coach? Oh yes, I'm very excited right now. <laughs> With the seventh pick in the 2007 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Adrian Peterson, running back, Oklahoma. I was just so excited. I know where I would be yet, and you know, dang, my dream has finally came through. Hard work pays off. The glare of training camp is unforgiving. Rookie Adrian Peterson discovered being an NFL running back entails much more than carrying the ball. Oh, I am. I am. Hey, why are we late? Why are we late? You had to wait to get tape. You had time? That's all right. We'll just find you. That's all right. We'll just find you. We'll find you as a group, and we'll have the team find you, too. Get in there. Let's go. He was a little late, but he got to understand how we work and how we do things. Right now, that's a big load on his plate. I'm meeting with him every morning, you know, occupying a lot of his time. You got all morning to get ready. We'll go through the script and go through anything that we need to go through in 15 minutes, if you're mature enough to handle that. You got me? When you come to this profession, you got to learn how to manage your time the correct way. So he was a little late, so I had to give him a his rookie business. Eric Bieniemy, our running back coach, is uh, practically living in his pocket. And I think uh, two days, he's swimming a little bit in the terminology, but that's to be expected with any rookie. You know, I remember as a rookie, it was just like, you know, eggs on a plate. I mean, it was just stuff going everywhere. You can't do it all in one day. And I think as a rookie, and obviously a, a high-drafted rookie, they feel like they need to be a savior. Uh, it's a process. Get them hands inside, hands inside. Hand, break, 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 break. Understand it, OK? Everything is right here. You look in the grab. Uh-uh. We got to be here to punch. OK? Here, punch. This right here ain't going to cut it. Being a rookie, it's tough. At this level, in order to be a complete player, he has to challenge himself to learn the entire game, meaning he has to understand protections. You can't block you on play. And you know, I've been hearing that you know, since college. So it's, that's, that's the number one thing. Got to protect that quarterback. Dwight, it's a blitz period. You can't run right by your man. Wait, how you doing, man? You talking to me now? You can cool down? We're gonna get the octagon, bro. We're gonna put it in the middle of the damn stadium. Me and his ass gonna go. You gotta keep reminding me that he is a rookie. Each and every day he's getting better, and when he gets it, it's gonna be very, very scary. He's this ball of energy just waiting to be erupted. The Vikings had high hopes for their first round pick. 
He justified them on his very first catch against the Falcons in week one. Peterson caught 35. Man, you know, that play, you're watching it. It happened so fast, but for me, it was like slow motion. Kind of bobbled the ball, tipped it. I ended up getting a handle on it, and Sidney Rice had a great block on the end of the hall, on the sideline, and it was all to the race. That's his first National Football League touchdown. It went for 60 yards. I caught myself glancing up at the jumbotron to see what was going on behind me. Let the Adrian Peterson era begin. After seven weeks, Peterson was the league's leading rusher, but he still had to learn when to run out for his pregame introduction. Oh, yeah. Uh, I didn't look at the schedule coming out, so I didn't know that they were announcing the offense for starters. So. I ran out with everybody else, you know, <laughs> the defense and all the other guys. And remember, Chester bumped me who was out there. He was like, Hey, what you doing? They calling your name, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know. I'm like, ah, oh, man, because I didn't want to be, you know, just running back to the tunnel, you know, looking crazy. But sneak out to the side and got ready to come out. It was, it was so funny. Rookie mistake. What am I doing? And it's been a drive with a touchdown, man. Let's go. The rookie was still adapting to the pro game, but he had a firm grasp on how to carry the ball against the tough Eagles defense. Understand this. We must protect. We have to chip. Okay? We have to chip. Peterson, listen. If you can't block, you won't play. Holcomb passes over the middle. Caught. Touchdown. Visante Shanka. Good job. Understand this. The kid can run the ball with the best of them. He was one of the most explosive rookie backs the league had ever seen, gaining over 2,000 all-purpose yards and scoring 13 touchdowns. He sprints around the 10 to the 5. Touchdown, Adrian Peterson. I heard a lot of coaches say, you know, he got that it. You know, he could take it to this at any time. Cuts back to the left. Touchdown. And I'll tell you what, he's good. The Lions will get their hats handed to him, but that kid is sick. 10, 5, end zone. My mentality is to get in the end zone every time I touch the ball. You know, because... <laughs> I hate to lose. Call quick as a hiccup. Blink your eyes, he's past you. Second touchdown today for Adrian Peterson. You see him one way, next thing you know, you turn your head, he's gone. Peterson was also a quick study. He understood that winning division games on the road was important and made special preparations for his debut at Chicago's Soldier Field. Back at Soldier Field, getting ready for the Bears and Vikings. The Vikings try and shed a three-game losing streak. I had a, a, a cup of coffee <laughs> before I went out, so I think I had a little more spark to me. Hand off Adrian, following the blocking around the left side, and he sprints for a first down. Runs through a bear, and Adrian He's gone! He's inside He's the gone. 30 to the 20. Great block by Ferguson. That was my first time having a cup of coffee before that game, and I, I just felt it. I felt like it was going to be a pretty good day. And Adrian Peterson is gone! He finished with 224 rushing yards, the most against the Bears in their history. But his most important play came as a kick returner, setting up a last-second field goal attempt for the victory. Chicago Bears! What a dream!
dramatic finish from Soldier Field. The ultimate goal is to do the best as a team. So the individual success you have, that's great too. It comes along with it. But, uh, you know, it's all about a team. Peterson wanted his teammates to enjoy the fruits of his Pro Bowl season. So he invited his blockers to join him at the All-Star Contest in Honolulu. I'm going to take, you know, the guys down there with me, the receivers included. You're going to pay for it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty good. First year, so just this year, guys. It means a lot, you know, giving credit to all the guys that helped me. The 2007 Rookie of the Year capped his season by running for two scores and winning Pro Bowl MVP honors. Congratulations, Adrian. We look forward and can't wait to see you in 2008 this coming fall. Oh, I can't wait. The Vikings will practice twice today. 15 minutes before practice, Peterson does as he was told as a rookie and reviews the plays that will be run during the session. Too bad we got no pads on. Overshadowing the practice wasn't the quarterback wearing number four, but rather another quarterback who wears number four. So since I'm mic'd up, I'm going to have to go out of our breath for him. What do you think? No comment. Concerns about a potential free agent passer gave way to a team-wide focus on blocking. One thing that I understand more now, going to my third year, is it's really the small things that makes the world, you know, makes a world of a difference. Now, I got a copy of the Blitz script. We got Blitz today. I don't know what the hell they bring. It don't matter. Let's make sure we all on the same page. Let's pick this up with the proper technique. Two extra focus now. Low pad low. He's going to try and engage. You want to engage him first, okay? Do it again. Let's go it's very important that you block the linebackers that blitz. Yeah, I'm sure it's very right. important to you. It's just as important as if you run to the right and I, and I go to the right. Yeah. yeah to you. Well, you throw the ball, actually, actually. Yeah. Put a point. Same thing, right? <laughs> Running backs coach Eric Bieniemy's tutoring of his star pupil is a never-ending process. We got to go back to day one teaching. You know, we talk about football, we're talking about inside zone footwork, reads, you know, our alignments, our assignments. We teach him everything from day one as if he's never heard it again. On top of that, fellas, we will have a third and seven to ten period, okay? Which still, we got to expect what? Blitz. Blitz. If they don't blitz, now we get out. Okay. I've always been taught professionals are the ones who go out and do the little things and do them great on the days that they don't feel like doing it. No detail escapes the enemy's eye, and he's never shy about demanding the best to work tirelessly at becoming even better. Yesterday, we ran the man route, I'm in the zone route, versus man today. Yeah, I ran the man route in the zone. I, was, I, was, I thought we went to the last play. That's what I was that thinking. Play. Why? That play. I, I, I thought we went back to the last play. Nah, bro, we ain't go back to the last okay, play. Okay, what I thought? That's what I thought. Well, he said in the huddle, didn't he? Okay. what I thought. Since we've been together, it's like a marriage. The bottom line, we got to make it work. I'm just telling you what we want through my mind, because the last play was clearly a bus. What do you call the huddle? Tiger, Tiger! I'm just telling you what I was thinking, okay? Tiger, Tiger. What do you call the huddle? What do you call the huddle? It's all right. Last. What did he call the huddle? All right, whatever. What did he call him? All right, I'm telling you what I was thinking, man. Okay. I don't care what you were thinking. What did he call it? All right. What did he call? I don't know. He can cuss me out. I swear I have to say, man. Maybe five, ten seconds later, you know, we sitting there talking back, you know, to you know, talking, communicating like nothing, you know, ever happened. Get past it. Refocus. Regroup. Come here. I'm good. No, no. Come here. Fake 97 power. Naked right fullback slide. We want to sell that thing with outside. Whenever we have an argument, we always make sure that, hey, by the end of the day, we're going to resolve it, and we're going to move on and move forward. Their connection goes back to the enemy, then a college coach, recruiting Peterson out of high school. The thing that I think that we have that makes it special is that I've sat in his living room as a position coach recruiting him. So I've known him since he was a teenager. In the end, okay, regardless of what I said or regardless of what you said, nothing is ever personal. The enemy was always vocal as an overachieving halfback. He played nine NFL seasons, mostly for the Chargers and Bengals. Blake takes, hands to the enemy, looking for a seat. Yes. Oh, 
goes to the goal line and goes in. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Reading a blitz, and you want us to step up. Just say, come on, step up. The enemy's communication skills made him a natural for coaching. Everything is flowing on your inside zone. You got to get it back in the shoot. You got to get it back. Okay? On top of that, fire two. We never run a wide route. Never. Fire two wide out. Come on. When he's in the room teaching and on the field, um, it's just the energy that, that that comes off. He played in this league for a long time. I always try to, to work with him. Hey fellas, I know we're tired. I know what it's like being in that situation. I know what it's like sitting in that chair. Fellas, we just gotta keep playing. I don't know what else to say. Hell of a job of making a play when we need it, okay? He's passionate, you know, one of the most passionate coaches I've ever been around. Press it, find the damn cut, and get up the hole. Hey, when I'm in the open field, I got to bring it in. Okay. From the outside, it looks like a dysfunctional relationship. But the end result is what? We want to win the Super Bowl. On November 4th, 2007, Peterson led his team not to the Super Bowl, but to a date with destiny. The opponent was the San Diego Chargers, a team featuring perennial all-pro halfback LaDainian Tomlinson, one of Peterson's idols. Either way, it would be a special game. It just felt good, you know. Me as a player, it's just something about just feeling right before you got on the field. I don't matter if it's your shoes or whatever, just feeling real good, and I, I felt that way. Time to get it on. Showtime. 300 is a reality. Oh, yeah. But we got to go out and take it. Hey, man, we can get 300 yards on these boots, man. You don't think that, man. You're in the wrong building. RB's on three. One, two, three. RB's. Give me a sip of uh, coffee when I go back in. Oh, yeah. That's all I need. Oh, yeah. I remember the first run was a uh, 60, I want to say 67 slant. I'm telling you, it was one block, one cutback, you know, that I could have made from, from, you know, a 50 or 60 yard run. And um, I missed it. You know, when I came back to the sideline, I was telling the officer line, hey, let's just keep, you know, keep doing what y'all doing, because, you know, we about to have a big day. I was going for it, but I kind of hesitated. I seen him, I see him, I see him coming, I see him fall, so. Once I get him going that way, he, my momentum gonna keep me going that way, so. Okay, hey, we need to go get to that seven. We will. Let's hold on. Right. Peterson kept running, and everything burst open in the second half. Carries 145 yards. 23 carries 186 yards. This guy is insane. Absolutely unstoppable. Uncle. I mean, seriously. I'm telling you, I was really feeling it. Chess was really feeling it. And we was pounding them. I have not seen that kind of speed, that kind of size, that kind of strength in one running back, maybe ever in my lifetime. In the fourth quarter, the NFL's single game rushing record was within reach. I remember seeing one of the guys run over the coach, and I guess they would tell him, hey, you'll need like a couple yards to break the record, so. Hand off Adrian, up the middle. There it is, 296 yards for Adrian Peterson, the greatest rushing performance in the history of the National Football League. Wow. They all came to see LaDainian Tomlinson, but as of now, they're talking about Adrian Peterson. I was like, it would have been nice to get 300, uh, you know, 301, 302, you know, hit that mark. <laughs> that would have been nice, but uh, it felt good. Got the game ball, you know, had to give a little speech. You know, the guys, you know, cheered that up. Speech, 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 you know, you know in the locker room after the game. So it, it, was, it was a good, it was a good, good night. Guy alert here, guy alert. Gun, right. The afternoon practice brings with it a new offensive wrinkle. The addition of first-round pick Percy Harvin has the Vikings tinkering with a strange entity called the Wildcat, a far cry from the eye formation Peterson is used to. We got black on that one. Me? I, I like it. I like it. Yes, it's a new experience. <laughs> yeah, it's new. It, it, it's cool. 
you know, um, I, I, I like some of the plays that you know they they're thrown in there, and, and I know they're trying they're trying a lot. But uh, you know, just to try something different, you know, with some of the guys we brought in, you know, Percy, uh, just to experiment a little bit and see how things go. Hell of a job out there. Keep up the good work. After practice comes a larger obstacle. It is Peterson's day to face the local media. Yeah, how doing? How are you doing? Right. I'm doing all right. Doing all right. Good to be back out here. Oh yeah, feels feels good to be back out here with the guys working out. You know, so and these guys they hard ball you, especially last year and coming to this year I'm getting more of it. So, Adrian, are you still uh, planning to add a few pounds, or are you kind of uh, change your mind on that, or? Uh, yeah, I, I still got a little time to work with, so I'm gonna gradually, um, you know, pull on a couple pounds, um, you know, here and there. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. I am good. So uh, you know, avoiding you know, avoiding questions. How you feel like the quarterbacks are coming along? Obviously, you know, getting both reps with, with the first team, both of them. And you feel like the competition is going about what you thought it would. Or? Yeah, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm really focused on you know my position. You know, not to I'm not sitting back evaluating the quarterbacks, but uh, they look like they, they look like they're doing a pretty good job. They're both of us are working hard and, and getting better each day. There is one more interview. A chat with former Viking star turned radio host Robert year. Smith. And he's going to say, hey, now you broke my record last year. You know, I know because he's already told me this. He goes, you broke my, se my season record already. He goes, my career record's only got a couple years left. <laughs> this is Tom West at the Vikings. Hey, good. Hey, I've got Adrian here ready. Let's bring in Adrian Peterson. Adrian, how you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. How you doing, Rob? Doing good. How's practice been going? It's going pretty good. You know, you know, how, you know, how I was in the, in the old days. So we're making it happen. Just getting through. How many questions about Brett Favre have you had to answer? Oh, tons. Too many. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> how, how do you experience that? I mean, what, what would that be like for you to have Brett Favre come play for you? Um, you know, it, it, it would be cool. You know, just because, just for the fact that he's a he's a Hall of Fame quarterback. Um, and, you know, and he's been he's been in the league for 18 years, 19 years, something like that. So, you know, it, it would definitely be cool. But, um, you know, with the guys we got, Tavares and Sage, you know, I, I really feel like they're, they're capable, you know, capable of, of handling the job too. So, we'll just see how, um, you know, how the chips fall. And we had a good conversation, um, you know, talking about the season and and avoiding the Brett Favre um, question somewhat. So, are you the best running back in the NFL right now? I don't know. You tell me. What do you think? <laughs> it was good talking to him, just knowing his history here and the things he have, you know, accomplished. And, um, you know, being able to break so many records is like, you know, it's, it's crazy. You are my boy's favorite player. Okay. They're in the first row. They're looking at you right now. You see him in a white and black? Right there. Look. Okay. They're dying right now. Look at it. See? <laughs> right here. Adrian Peterson wanted to be more than a marquee attraction. In 2008, he eyed pro football's ultimate prize. Ultimate goal is NFC North, division champs, getting to the playoffs, and then making that run, you know, to, to get into that big game. We wanted to win the Super Bowl, you know what I mean? You chose this profession for a reason. I chose it for a reason. So it's going to take a lot of self-sacrifice. The running back charged out of the blocks in his second season. Against the Colts, he displayed the speed and fearlessness that had become his trademark. Ooh, good tackle. Oh, good tackle. Three ain't good enough. He needs seven. The Minnesota Star gained 160 yards on the ground. But Indianapolis tripped up his attempts at reaching the end zone. Now he makes a man miss. He's in Colts territory to the 40. Bob Sanders offends him at the 29. Sorry for the stay up. I wasn't jumped up. Come on. After two weeks, Peterson was the NFL's leading rusher on a winless team. During their third loss, head coach Brad Childress delivered a rallying cry. Oh no, for real, I don't know. The only person to beat us is us. Why? The only person to beat us. Now, we can decide we want to bow up here seven. With all this time left in this freaking game, and go after these guys, and we can lay our ass down and go home. 
coming out. It's got to be each guy, and it's got to be all you guys standing next to each other. Just pick you up and pick each other up. And stop killing ourselves. Everybody understand that? Let's get this going. Way too good. Way too good to be playing like this. I really, at that time, I really didn't have much to say. He really motivated me more than he probably even know. It was the push Minnesota needed. Even in defeat at Tennessee, Peterson and the Vikings began to play with the focus and drive that defines playoff teams. And Adrian dragged a Titan into the end zone. We needed that like we needed to breathe. Watch him run today. Yeah, I'm predicting at least 150, at least 150. But we'll be all right. Best running back in the game right now. I mean, what else can you say? I mean, y'all, y'all sit on TV more than me. AP all day, baby. Minnesota won six of its next eight games with Peterson running for nearly 900 yards. A division title was now within reach. NFC North with four games to go. That's NFC North football. That's just exactly what you expect it to be. And you got another NFC North next week, and you need to take care of the things in your division. During the final week of the regular season, the Vikings needed a win to clinch the NFC North. A leader had to step forward. Stay true to yourself. Stay true to those holes. Okay? Run with your eyes. I know those legs are rough. All right? All right. We're gonna go home, and all we gotta do is execute, make every play, play every play like it's the last play, man. Leave it all on the field, baby. Let's go get this. RBs on three. One, two, three. RB. Early on, the defending champion Giants corralled Peterson every time he touched the ball. Giants gang tackle beautifully at the point of attack. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Right, we're not going to lose this game, man. I refuse to lose this. Sometimes you're going to run into a team that you're going to have to fight for every yard. And I was ready to, you know, to, to, to step up my game and, you know, go out there and get the job done. Peterson used all of his tools to finally escape from New York. His eyes, his feet, and his heart. Toss right to Peterson, and it's loose, and there he goes! A 67-yard touchdown by the best running back in the National Football League. All you got to do is give this kid a crease, and he's gone. Tackle that guy! The hell do you think you're out there for? He had proven his resilience for four quarters, yet in the final seconds, Peterson was only a spectator as the Vikings attempted a game-winning field goal. 50-yard drive, kick is up, and it is good! The Minnesota Vikings are division champions! It's just like a ton of bricks that just came off my shoulders. NFC North Division champs, that's what it's all about. Now this is where the fun start, man. You gotta go get it. I was just overwhelmed, you know, overwhelmed with, with joy as far as making it to the playoffs, or you might be going home. I'm happy for you. Thank you, man. Hear me? All good things, keep going. Hear me? As long as we'll keep learning. Yes, Appreciate you, man. Hey, you buddy. Doing all right. All right. Oh, yeah. Showtime. The league's leading rusher in 2008 set foot on hallowed ground that season, the NFL playoffs. In a playoff game, it's on a totally different level. I think it kicks up a notch or two. Stop, Kevin! Hey, dog! Hey, dog! 
go. Once you get in there, anything can happen. It's not man. Let's go. Anything can happen. It's gonna be ugly early. They gonna blitz uh, play one. We gotta run with a determined attitude. Two, three yard, four yard runs will be great. They preached patience, grit, less room, more vigor. At first, Peterson was asked to be more bulldozer than Bentley to wear down the Eagles. Those men, Kent, play ball. Here's what you three need to understand, okay? We gonna run the ball, okay? We gonna have to throw it when we have to. I don't give if you have 20 and you have 20. That's what type of game it has to be. Guys are, you know, leaving it all out there. Maybe on the couple plays, I wasn't patient enough. But we was able to uh, get back on track. In the second quarter, the All-Pro finally broke free. And off Adrian, scoots loose up the middle, across the 30, to the 20, inside the 10, touchdown! It's a 40-yard touchdown. We're starting to wear these guys down. No matter who's in the game, we can run blast all day, okay? I'm they going to play it straight. Look at The read was easy. So was flipping past the linebacker. The Philadelphia Eagles defense was left in the wake of a keen turn of speed. You can stop him, you can stop him, and you can stop him. And then all of a sudden, there he goes. Defense! Defense! Come on, D. Come on, D. We need you. Come on, D. Momentum can be contagious. Easily passed from a running back to the defense. He wants a fade left on Cedric for Curtis. Intercepted by Cedric. He's in bounds. Yes. No! The defense gonna give us the opportunity, man. We gotta go get this, man. We need sevens. You don't need to take it to seven. Red zone now. We gotta come away with sevens. We can't leave the draw with our seven, man. the carry to the left, skirts through the line of scrimmage, touchdown! Adrian Peterson's star is shining in the postseason. It's his second touchdown today. Hey, 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 Getting our feet wet, you know, tasting the playoffs. It was a good experience. I was able to learn a lot and take a lot from that game. Uh, unfortunately, we, we just didn't pull it off. It's really the small things that makes a world of a difference. I really was able to take a lot of little things from it that I keep it back in my head. We'll be back here next week. We didn't do enough, man. Obviously, Adrian had a great year last year. The bottom line, last year's happened. Now what are we gonna do? You know, one thing I always like to focus on is always making sure we're working on the little things, making sure everything becomes second nature to it. Just keep working on and fine tuning the detail aspects of what it takes to be a consistent football player. Every small step Peterson takes brings him closer to his goal of being an all time great. Only five running backs have gained 2,000 yards in a single season. He plans to be the sixth. And Adrian's inside the 20! Touchdown! 2,000 yards, I'm gonna have that mark every year. I'm trying to get 2,000 more, not just 2,000, I'm trying to get 2,000 more. You know, some people look at me like it's crazy. I don't look at it like that. You are seeing the next great, I mean great player in this league. Everybody talks about 2,000 yards. He sees it and he believes it and uh, wouldn't surprise me if he gets there. You don't want to tell him he can't do something because that's the time uh, he's setting up bar high. He always wants to go out there and prove that, hey, you know what? 
I can be good. But you know what? I want to be better than that. I want to be known as one of the better players to ever put on a uniform in this business. Like any other person doing any other job, Peterson heads home after a long day. The season's opening game is over three months away, but the challenge is inescapable. To improve in every area and lead his team to a world championship. It's an all-day endeavor, but if nothing else, Adrian Peterson is an all-day kind of guy.